Well, today we're going to talk about transferring your VH VSH tapes uh, and your small VH. Hopefully, you have a camcorder that'll run your your old small SVHS VHS tapes. But uh, the simplest way that I can find is get your camcorder, hook it to the inputs of a DVD recorder. You want to get a recorder. You also need a VHS player, DVD recorder. Then you need something to play your old tapes, whether it's 8mm or the C VHS. Hook them up like it does, you know, like it says in your instruction manual. A lot of cameras are different. Get your uh, DVD recorder plugged into your television. <laughs> Push the play button. Okay, get your and the way I know the way I like to do it, now once you got everything hooked up, you got your little camera or your VHS tape player hooked into your DVD recorder. You want to set your DVD recorder up to where you record on your DVD disc for one hour. Don't use the uh, two hour record mode. All you want is just an hour because you're going to only you want to set it up for one hour because it's better to have two discs for a two hour tape than it would be to have a two hour disc for a two hour tape because these things don't take up a whole lot of room anyway and this way you can kit you can put on there exactly what you want and uh, the nice thing about when you record I'm going to go ahead and push the record button on this thing alright and then a the nice thing about it when you're doing it on a tape you can fast forward through all the junk you don't want while you're still recording, don't stop your recording. Just keep recording till you get to where you want. Get get the rest of your recording that you want. Because there's no sense staying on one item too long, especially still pictures. Okay, we're gonna move on. Getting through all this that we don't need. Get all right. Now we're getting to some more stuff we want. All right. And then if you think if you feel like you've missed something, back it up. Then when you got what you want, just push your stop, your pause button, I mean your stop button. That's going to give you the information on your first chapter. Okay, let it finish writing that. Okay, we're done. Now we go to the second part. Now we want to fast forward to our next item. Okay, now we want to back it up a little because I've got our little friend there.
Okay, you want to push record again. Okay, we're now recording again. This will be your second chapter. We would have to get the butt end of our dog. Oh well. I guess I must have been pretty bored that day. Anyway, we get what we want. Once we get enough of that, we push stop again. This will be our second chapter. Okay, we're done. Okay, now once you get all your chapters, yeah, we'll do one more. Okay, we're recording again. Now we get the, the better end of our little friend. She's no longer around, so it's nice to have some few pictures of her. Now we're back to the flooring again. Okay, so that'll be our third chapter. So we push stop again. Okay, we're up to record again. Now we get to some places we want to keep. But then what's going to happen, we're not going to want that, so let's just fast forward. Okay, again, if we think we missed something, let's back up. Now you can do this with your VHS player, your your digital camcorder, whatever whatever means you have to get your video on a DVD disc because eventually what we're going to do, we're going to put the disc onto our computer and then get all the information off the disk onto the computer. That's what this whole thing is about. That's why you don't have to have a whole bunch of odds and ends junk hanging off your computer for your old tapes and whatever, 15 minutes long. But then after you get through, then you want to write another chapter on there. Now, we've gotten through with all of this. Okay, we're off of that. Turn the other camcorder off. Or, or I should say our player. <laughs> 